Ski World Simulator. What a broken joke of a game this is, man. Let's go and start a new game, and I'll show you exactly why I say that. So the game really has two modes to it, in a way. There's the I am the owner of a ski resort, and I do all the things required to manage the ski resort mode. And then there's the I'm a worker at the ski resort, and I push snow all day mode. We'll talk about this mode later, but first I want to talk about the owner mode, which hopefully won't crash when I hit this button, because it sometimes does that. Okay, good. We're going to hit all these buttons. So these three menus is what you, where you do everything required to run the ski resort. Let's talk about the settings menu first. This is where you choose the cost for everything in your ski resort. Now in a normal game, you would want to balance the cost between the number of customers you have. In this game, you have the same number of customers no matter what price you pick. So what, you know what price you pick? You max it out. You max out the price because there's no reason not to, and you'll make the most money by doing that. So that's what you do for the settings menu. Now let's talk about the tasks menu. This is where you could either do the tasks, the task yourself, or you can just hire somebody to do it for you, which is what you will do 99.999% of the time. You might do one task before you realize this is dumb, I don't want to do the tasks, and you'll hire people to do it. So what's wrong with this menu? Well, if you don't do the tasks for maybe a month or two in in-game time, um, the maximum number of customers you can have at your resort seems to shrink, and there's absolutely no way to get it up. So that means if you have a giant resort and you shrink the amount of customers too low, there is nothing you can do whatsoever to continue making a profit, and the only way you'll be able to make money is if you restart the game. I mean, like, new game it. Which doesn't even quite work right. Hitting the new game button, it doesn't even quite work right. Um, I'll have to show you that l later. But first, let's talk about the way the shop menu works. This one, I don't notice anything too, like, crazy broken about it. There is a glitch I will talk about later, but the way it works is you buy things you think will attract customers, and if everything goes according to plan, you will get more customers by buying things that they'll be interested in. Um, oh, there is a couple of things I actually want to mention about this now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. So these tasks refresh every week. So you're going to do next day seven times, and then you have a new week. Then you're going to delegate more people, and then you're going to have a new week. Now you always want to make sure at the start of the game you keep a bunch of money in your reserve. Because every day you get 10 more customers and 10 more customers only. You can't get more than 10 customers in a day. So for the first few weeks of the game you're just going to be losing money. Until you're able to make a profit by when you have enough customers coming. So you want to be careful not to just blow all your money initially. So now we have 140 customers. So I don't think we'll be losing money anymore. But those first two weeks we were losing money. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Besides make sure you keep some money safe. And this is how the game works. You delegate all the tasks out, then you hit next a few times and you increase your money. You delegate all the tasks out, then you hit next a few times and repeat forever until you have enough money to buy things from the shop. And then you repeat again and again. This is a lot like cookie cutter, or cl cookie clicker, sorry. Except in cookie clicker, that's a free game you can play in your web browser. This is a game you buy to click in. Yeah, big difference there, huh? But you uh, do this all day. That's the game. I'm not even like I'm not even doing anything to break the game. This is just how you play the game. Sure, you can say, well, why don't you reduce the prices? Why would I reduce the prices? Do I want to intentionally screw myself and make less money? Because there's no benefit to doing so. It's not like there's some fancy formula that I'm exploiting here. It's just the formula that says, hey, give them 10 customers, irregardless of the cost. So it's like, well, why make it cheap? So now we have enough money to buy a couple more things. I think. We could go ahead and say, you know, buy this, buy that. But if I just keep clicking for a while, I'll make some serious money really fast. Like, I'm going to keep clicking for about 10 minutes, and I'll show you how, fa how fast I can make money. Uh, but one thing about the shop menu is it's weird, because there's like a delay before you could buy something and then buy something again. So if you highlight this one and hit buy, it'll buy it. And I keep clicking, buy, 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 and then it finally allows me to buy it. Buy, and then it finally allows me. And then it finally allows me. That's how long it takes between each purchase. There's like this long delay, and I don't know why. But it's just a pain to have all that little delay because it's like I want to buy all these things fast and just keep clicking. Like I'm addicted to the clicks. Like I go click, 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 and then click here, then click there, click, click. But it's like, oh, this one's going to slow me down. So just as an example of how fast you can do this if you just keep clicking, I'm going to do exactly 10 minutes of clicking. And I'll come back to you after 10 minutes of clicking is up and show you what I've accomplished. Here's something else great real quick I want to point out. Here's the description for one of these items. Cross track to desk. You know what desk stands for? It's a short abbreviation for the word description. As in, that's basically a placeholder that says, put description here, and it's not there. Also, this is not the first item I've seen that does this. There's another one called flags that also does that. I just forgot to point that out. And another thing, since I'm talking, what do these things here mean? The SER, ACC, REP. The game will tell you what they mean, but I don't think they actually have an actual purpose. 
that's important. Sure, there might be some random equation that makes these numbers of satisfaction change and stuff, but it's irrelevant because the game because of the way that the game is designed. It's irrelevant because people will buy things no matter what the cost is. Anyways, I'm gonna keep on clicking now, and like I said, once ten minutes of actual clicking is up, I will be back. Okay, so I actually ended up spending about fifteen minutes um doing this just kept clicking 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 and in that time I purchased everything we can possibly buy and uh, are absolutely loaded with 327 million euros ready to go so I basically won the game in 15 minutes that's it I've, I've totally completed the game we are like 100% completion entirely done there's nothing else we can possibly do so now let's talk about the missions. Let's go and do this mission right here. It says use small snow cat to tow stranded truck from road to nearby village. And I don't know if I want to complete this because I am I don't know if I have the patience for it, but let's go ahead and at least start it. So the way it works is you use your snow cat and you have to go way to that orange dot a million miles away seemingly to go save the truck. And it's not like this is necessarily fun just uh, doing this because well do I sound like I'm having fun to you? Do I? Do I really sound like I'm having fun to you? Because I'm not. I mean, it's just holding the gas pedal and waiting. I mean, yeah, but it's a simulator. Well, shouldn't the business part be simulated at least somewhat? It'd be excusable if the other half of the game was decent. But, um, well, the other half is worse. I mean, at least this one, nothing terrib is terribly broken. It's just boring not like it's a really fun simulator because all you do is you're driving. It's like, well, we gotta drive here now, we gotta drive here now, we gotta plow the snow on the slope now. I don't, there's not that many tasks that you do, and they're not that entertaining. I mean, I mean, I like simulators. But this one just doesn't, doesn't do it for me. It's, it doesn't have enough variety in the things you actually do, and the business aspect is so utterly broken, it's ridiculous. I mean, like, it's just, we just keep driving and driving until we finally get to them. And then we can pick them up, and then we can bring them back to where he goes, and then everybody's happy. Yay! Yeah. I'm, I mean, I am lacking the motivation to continue doing this because I could just hire somebody to do it. And like a real job, you delegate out the boring things to other people to do. Here's a question for you guys. You ever see a game where you have a vehicle that's on tracks, right? So if you're going forward and turning left, you turn left. If you go reverse and turn left, you still turn left. Normally, like in a normal car, if you, you, have, you spin the wheel the opposite direction when you're going in reverse. This one, it's kind of different where it does that. And it's just, it's really annoying because it's not what you'd expect like you expect okay I'm going in back I'm gonna back up let me change the direction I'm steering so I can keep turning in that direction but no you just want to keep holding left to keep turning left even when you're going in reverse and it's just disorientating it might be realistic sure and so to some extent but um it's kind of pointless in the fact that it's just it, it's frustrating to use and it's very it doesn't feel logical when you're doing everything it's like you just gotta think okay I need to turn the opposite direction of what I think is right in order to get to where you want to go. So I'm not going to finish this because well, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm bored. <laughs> I, I am bored of that part. I don't want to just drive around and do stuff like that, necessarily. I was hoping this part would be at least decent, but well, at least see how this is going. We just delegate everything to a week. Oh, we're richer by a couple million dollars. Well, a few million dollars. And that's the game. Uh, the game, also, it tells you how to play the game here with a little PowerPoint. Here's the best part. Your task in Snowcat Simulator 2012. What game did I buy? You know, I thought I was playing Ski World Simulator. And I am. Steam says I am. But apparently the game thinks it's Snowcat Simulator 2012. I don't know why it thinks that. I guess it's just a rebranded version of that game. So don't buy that game either. I'm assuming it's not much better. Here's another good part. You see this right here? It says right here, it's like, it's kind of cut off. There's like some text right there. That says F1 to show information about vehicle. And how do you get out of this menu? Let's see, do you click this button? No. Do you click anything else? No. Do you click out of it? No. Can you click it on like a corner to exit out? No. Do you know how to get out of it? Oh, you finally just slam all the keys on your keyboard and you finally hit escape. That gets you out of it. Or, you see this little sliver right here? That button is cut off. So what weird odd resolution is YBR possibly using to cut off a button like that? 1920 by 1080. 
literally the most common resolution for 1080p there is. It's unexcusable that the GUI, graphic user interface, whatever you want to call it, GUI, would have issues at that resolution. If I was using an odd resolution, sure, I would excuse it. 1920 by 1080 is by no means an odd resolution. Alright. That's, um, Ski World Simulator. Very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. YBR, see ya.